How's it going guys? It's Thomas on Planet Tech and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my entire LEGO Star Wars backlog. So since getting back into the hobby a couple of years ago, I've amassed a ton of LEGO Star Wars sets and I've just not been able to keep up with building them. These sets have been spread out, some up in the loft, some under my bed, some in my cabinet, they're just scattered everywhere so I thought it would be cool to collate them all together and showcase them in one big video. Some of you guys may know that I like to invest in LEGO as well, however, all the sets that you see in this video are for my own personal backlog. This won't include any of my investment sets. I do hope to do an investment sets collection video later on in the year, but for now, we're just focusing on my backlog. Since I'm feeling super generous today, we're gonna have a like goal. If this video gets 50 likes before the start of my Wednesday live stream this week, then I will give away one of the battle packs seen in this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, well then stick around, watch the video, see if you enjoy it. And then if so, hit that big red button for me. Let's not delay this any longer because there are a lot of sets to go through. Let's go take a look at my backlog. Okay, so the first section of sets we've got here include both Kylo Ren and Darth Maul based sets. Now, if you guys know me, you'll know that I love both these characters. I've got a bit of collection obsession with uh, these two characters in particular. So uh, yeah, I'll take a quick closer look here. So we've got the Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator. That was from about like 2011. We've got the mini Sith Infiltrator as well there. And the OG one that looks absolutely disgusting, but I still feel good. I've got to have it in the collection. It's a Darth Maul set, right? <laughs> um, I got the two art sets that I'm going to make into Darth Maul and, uh, and one into Kylo Ren. I do have another one as well, but that uh, I'm going to do a rebrickable mock for that, so that's not kind of re relevant here. Um, I don't have any other sequel trilogy sets, so I figured I'd just throw this battle pack in here. Um, and then we've got some brickheads here for Kylo Ren. We've got the... Um, the TIE Silencer, I think that's called, or Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter, the official name. And then we've got the Grey Command Shuttle. I have built the black one, so yeah. Um, and then we've got a couple of the foil packs here. We've got the TIE Silencer, Kylo Ren's Shuttle, and then the Grey uh, Shuttle Polybag. So yeah, that's my Kylo Ren and uh, Darth Maul stuff. On to the prequel era now, and honestly I'm quite shocked at how little I've got from this era of Star Wars. I suppose I just build all the prequel stuff because it's my favourite era, but uh, yeah. So we've got one of the Mandalorian battle packs from 2011 there, or 2010, can't quite, can't quite remember. We've got the Republic fighter tank with that awesome Aayla Secura figure. We've got the uh, Construction General Grievous, really really like that set, can't wait to build that. And kind of tempted to start a whole like General Grievous collection, a bit like my Darth Maul and uh, Kylo Ren collection, not sure yet though. Uh, we've got the Jewel on Mandalore set, ended up with like two or three of these, not really sure why. Um, we've got a clone battle pack, we've got three of the brand new 2022 figure packs, can't wait to open those, and five of the dwarf spider droids, and you'll be seeing a lot of these in my clone and droid army videos coming up on the channel very soon. So not too many sets from Star Wars Rebels, but we do have the Vader's TIE Advance versus A-Wing Starfighter. Really nice set, that one. Uh, we've got the Ghost Microfighter with that Hera Syndulla figure. Uh, when she featured in Bad Batch, I thought I need to get this because her figure's going to rise, and it did. So I picked that up like straight away, got a good price on that. We've got two of the Imperial Troop Transport Battle Packs. I actually really like these Rebel figures. I know that's kind of a controversial or unpopular opinion in the LEGO community, but I really like them, um, and I'm looking forward to amassing a bit of an army of those. And I've also got the Phantom 2 there, um, and that's got that Thrawn and uh, and Blind Kanan figure. Can't wait to open that. That's going to be a really, really fun set to build on a live stream. Okay, so this might just be my favorite subsection of all these sets that I've got in my seal collection and maybe even one of my favorite waves of all time. In fact, it's definitely one of my favorite waves of all time. It's the Rogue One wave and I've got so many of these sets sealed, ready to build. And yeah, just really looking forward to cracking these open. So we've got the TIE Striker, we've got the Hover Tank, we've got the Y-Wing, we've got the Rebel U-Wing there, we've got the Microfighter, the Rebel uh, Battle Pack there, we've got the uh, Microfighter Krennic Shuttle, the big Krennic Shuttle, that's such a sick set. I've actually got three of these Battle on Scarif sets. Um, they come with those uh, Scarif Stormtroopers and they are pretty pricey and I managed to get some really good deals on Facebook Marketplace for two of those at least. And then I've got three of the Imperial Trooper Battle Packs. I'm collecting every single Rogue, uh, Rogue One set and so that's why I've got so many of them. And at this point, I think I'm just gonna wait pretty much until I've got all the sets. Uh, sealed and then maybe I'll do like a couple of weeks or like a month special of just going through all of them and building them because 
they're so cool man they they come with some great figures and uh yeah just an awesome awesome time for lego star wars so yeah that's all the rogue one sets i got sealed so onto my legends slash original trilogy slash one solo set that i've got uh we do have the imperial tie fighter from solo i love those figures can't wait to open that we got the darth vader's castle i would have almost included that in my rogue one section of this video however I just had so many so I thought I'd put them in here. We've got Luke's land speeder, gonna be a classic. I'll probably get the cantina at some point so you gotta have Luke Skywalker's land speeder, right? Uh, we've got an Imperial TIE Fighter there um, and then onto the battle packs we've got the Inferno Squad battle pack, uh, a couple of the Shadow Trooper battle packs and then a Rebel Alliance battle pack there as well. On to sets from the Mandalorian now, and we've got three of the Imperial Armoured Marauders. Uh, these are going to be really good for army building, those Stormtroopers and the Mortar Trooper as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other two builds yet. Um, I might just sell them for parts or just part them out into my collection, not sure. We've got the Advent Calendar from last year. I just completely forgot to open this, um, so at some point I will open that and keep all the builds. I am collecting all the Mandalorian sets, so I will keep those builds. Um, and I'll, I'll try to find a way to kind of display this in a, in a cool way But yeah, that's the advent calendar. We've got one of the Mandalorian battle packs I've got a few more of these somewhere, but I think they're up with a lot of my investment sets So just the one here. Uh, we've got the razor crest. I'm really need to build this. This is such an awesome set So uh, yeah, I need to crack that open at some point this year we've Got the ATSC Raider as well as the Boba Fett Starship So yeah, those are all the Mandalorian sets that I've still got to build here are all the 20th anniversary sets that I've got to build. So I've got the Snowspeeder, I've got the Slave 1, and I've got the Dropship as well. I'm now collecting all those 20th anniversary figures. I've left it well late because now they're quite expensive. <laughs> but yeah, I will be getting those. I've also got some 18 plus sets here. We've got the Bespin Jewel. We've got the Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber. We've also got the Scout Trooper Helmet. One set that I don't have with me currently, but it is in my backlog, it is the Nebulon B Frigate. Uh, I got that, but it's currently sitting at a friend's house in America, uh, waiting for me to go over there and pick it up. So yeah, I do have the Nebulon B Frigate as well, but yeah, this is the 20th anniversary sets and 18 plus stuff. I've really had to step back to get all three of these in shot, but we got my UCS seal collection sets to be built No, these ones aren't investments. I will be building them at some point But we've got the two UCS 8080s as well as that beautiful Millennium Falcon uh, The Millennium Falcon is definitely like long term won't see that being built for quite a while But these 8080s I do want to get built in the next couple of months for sure Just need to find a place where I can put them, but uh, yeah, they will be built um on the channel at some point in the next few months but yeah this is so cool to see all three of these uh, stacked on top of each other like that uh, three awesome lego sets and super happy to have them in my collection thank god for the iphone 12's wide angle lens otherwise i wouldn't be able to get all of these in a shot <laughs> this is crazy i have got a lot of building to do uh yeah so guys make sure to let me know in the comments which some of your favorite sets are from this backlog um i've forgot like half of these sets are in here it's, it's kind of crazy but yeah all these sets i will be building at some point on my weekly live streams every wednesday at 8 30 uk time so yeah be sure to leave a comment with which set you would like to see me build on those live streams from this backlog because uh, yeah, it all needs to get done at some point, so there's, uh, there's no time like the present. So there it is guys, my entire LEGO Star Wars backlog. I'm shocked at how much stuff there is. There's been some stored under my bed, some stored up in the loft, some stored in my units, like it's just everywhere. So to have it all together, all behind me like this, is just kind of crazy to see. And uh, yeah, I've definitely got a lot of building to do in the next couple of months. As I said, all these sets have got to be built at some point. So if there's any that you would prefer to see me build on the weekly live streams, then do let me know down in the comments below. Whilst you're down there, if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be hugely appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed already and you're into LEGO Star Wars content, then this is the place for you and I do urge you to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.